Coming back with the end of the scenario, Autumn Mist from Pranzig and Redeer, Ellsborn Ridge. You can see here's the victory, uh, or step loss, step losses for both sides. Americans, six. Germans, ten. Which means both of them achieved a minor victory, and thus the scenario is a draw between the two of them. Now, it was a tough scenario. Came right down to the end. Let's come back to the board here. Give you kind of a recap of turns 9 and uh, from the 9 a.m. turn straight till the 10 a.m. Uh, hour, I should say. And you can see these are the final positions of the units. Uh, the Germans actually recovered pretty well. There's still quite a bit of, of demoralized units on the board for them. U.S. artillery was very effective this turn in terms of knocking out units here and here and uh, driving them back. But their, um, the Germans' reinforcements did appear finally at 9.15 and came right up the road and right up in here to uh, try to force into the assault hex um, over there. They didn't quite make it, but uh, they did, you know, take off some pressure on those units that did. Now, we did get the German units that was positioned here, here, and, well, here and here, in here to the assault, and we'll show that in a minute. We also have this assault hex going on over here as well. The U.S. pulled more units across from the north to reinforce that assault hex and try to knock out um, units, uh, German units from, from within there. So let's take a look at the assault. So the assault on the, uh, the um, entrenchment here, first one down by the road, um, the colonel was able to get the units back in decent order and they were able to attack and actually demoralize the um, leader right here. He recovered, disrupted these two infantry units here and actually had a chance to knock some out, but they didn't, didn't unfortunately. But what did knock out units was that second assault hex up on top of the hill where we can see here that underneath here, one U.S. unit was lost uh, right there, or one step was lost over there. Now over here, there was some German steps lost, one there, and I think there was another one that, yeah, another one that retreated out of the hex. That's one of those demoralized that we saw over there before as well. So, uh, you know, that's what's left over there. So they actually got you know, the step loss number five from here. And then the big surprise was over here, an artillery barrage by the um, Germans that actually knocked out the anti-tank gun for the number six uh, loss for the Americans to give the minor victory to the Germans. So uh, that's kind of where we are and how the losses stacked up. The two assault hacks are still going strong. Uh, but there really is no more um, effort that can be be done to change the victory conditions. As I said before, the victory conditions for the major victory conditions for the um, Americans was holding this road and also not getting um, five step losses, which did not happen. And then for the Germans, they had to control the road end to end to uh, uh, achieve the victory. So again, winds up as being a draw with this. So now a little quick uh, analysis of this battle in terms of what's happened. Talk about a little bit of the command, talk about a little bit of the situation, a little bit of the um, variables that went into this. So first off, the German attack, um, strong coming up the road, uh, a little bit tricky because the leadership was fair in my opinion. We had a number of leaders that did not have um, firepower bonus, but they did have some uh, morale bonus, which is important because morale for the Germans is is below average. And that really showed over here because the Germans were failing morale checks left and right um, because of this. And that left a lot of units strung out over here. Um, and consequently, the, um, the German leader had to go into this assault hex and really um, take over that assault. And that really limited his capability. So Right there, that shows that the higher leader had to move into a more tactical level, couldn't stay at an operational level to move units around, get units rallied, and things like that, which was very tough, um, tough on the Germans. Subsequently, the 
other leaders had to take up the commands. And luckily, captains, um, I think he's here and here, uh, were able to take over with some degree and all as well as well as down here. But they just had a lot of units that were just having morale issues um, all day long with this and really kind of showed the, the problem. On the American side, um, in terms of their command and control structure, morale was very good. They were passing um, their morale checks as they needed. They did fail a few. Most of their losses were due to you know direct kills on the units as opposed to morale losses you know within here. American leadership was very strong over here. They had several units, as you can see, with leaders around here that were able to, you know, really hold off uh, and stem the attack. Defense was very good. They had position on the hills. They also had the position with the entrenchments um, there as well. So a very tough situation for the, uh, uh, the Germans to attack over there, a very strong situation for the Americans to, to hold out. So in terms of this, uh, what do I think? The, uh, the Americans, um, I think, it is strong defense and strong defensive position, uh, counterattacking where they needed. The Germans um, failed in a lot of their morale issues and failed to have the attack materialize in a way that was going to be effective to get a victory out of there. Um, and it came down to being, at best, a minor victory for the Germans, but even that failed as they wound up stuck on the, uh, on the west side of the hill still fighting the Americans, not even getting close to the crossroads as well as down the road um, across there. So with that, I uh, hope you like this little pop-up uh, game that I um, had here with a quick video on my phone and um, everything else that goes around it. Hopefully you like these. Please like them. And uh, maybe have a few more pop-ups like this and, uh, and do this again. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.